guys what is up welcome back to the channel we are back at the shop as a matter of fact we never left but mike is kind enough to basically let us use his lift because i don't have a four post lift at the house you know we have the two post lift for pinion angle we got to check pinion angle on this thing super important when you do a swap you do suspension upgrades when the car changes stock factory ride height and drivetrain now obviously you need a four post lift you need to have basically the wheel the weight of the car down on all four wheels and tires and either if you're using like the wooden stands or obviously if you have a lift it, you're better off but that pinion angle is super important let me bring in mike for you guys and let him talk to you a little bit more about it mike what are we looking at man how are we doing guys we're going to discuss pinion angle in the rear of this vehicle um Biggest thing is, is when you swap and do bigger wheels, you're gonna have to do an aftermarket rear control arm, no matter what you do. That's to center, that's to get your adjustment side to side, forward, back, and to make sure your thrust angle, like we talked about earlier, is square. Thrust angle is square on it, and I don't see there being any issues with adjusting the rear end. What we'll look at now is pinion angle and see about adjusting it and what we can do to adjust it. Coming in and looking at it, it definitely looks like our pinion angle is a little bit too low. Um, another thing is, is it's not a big lifted truck, so it's pinion angle really doesn't come into play like you're off-roading or anything like that. One big thing to notice is to keep your drive line as parallel with the differential as possible. Right now, we can physically see that the pinion angle is pointed down a little bit. Not enough to be concerned about, but it is enough that I can physically see it. These are speed tech control arms. Yep. And but the, the way to adjust these is we'd have to pull either one side out and they actually twist. These they are, thread in. Yeah, and yeah they there. thread okay. in and out. So we do so have that, that angle or so adjustment. Naturally, naturally looking at it, it does not look like yeah, an no, adjustable no, yeah. control arm. Yeah, speed tech so. a little sneaky with that one. Same yes, thing sir. with the tops. The tops are do the same thing. Okay. We you basically gotta pull one bolt out and we can turn them and adjust them there as well. But I know the tops adjust basically the rear end side to side. Yep. And the lowers adjust the actual pinion angle, yes, correct? Yes, sir. Yep. Absolutely. So what I think we need to do is drop both of these rear lower arms and maybe thread them in two turns. Oh, Mike, so real quick, what are we starting at right now? Where are we at? We are at a 0.8 on the thrust angle. That's coming right off of your yoke, right off the differential. Yeah. And then um, we want that in between a 0.2 and a 0.5. Okay. okay. All right. So we'll pull these control arms, fellas, and adjust it and see what we can get. All right, you guys. We did a little YouTube magic, man. That was a pain in the ass for moving these coilovers and adjusting those ARs. Mike, where we at, dog? What are we talking Come about? Come on in, boys. We seen earlier, was that a 0 0.8? 0 0.3, right on the monies. I Pinion like it. angle looks beautiful, drive line is straight. I like it. All right, hopefully we got no vibrations after that, fellas. So you definitely want to make sure you guys check pinion angles when you guys are doing these swaps, lift kits coilovers any suspension work it changes the uh, geometry of the car definitely a big big thing but you guys that's gonna do it for this video like i said once again man check out check out mike's shop you guys already know mike where can they find you at man we're in las vegas nevada the shop is called wrecked it fab and off road 3140 polaris avenue suite 37 yeah any questions or concerns give us a call at 725 Two five one two three two four. There you have it. There you have it, you guys. I will make sure I'll put down in the description below you guys his address, phone number, and also you guys already know. Stay wrenching. <laughs>